Maritime Made on Eastlink is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc., helping companies large and small grow through export. In Mahone Bay, Nova Scotia, founder Lisa Alley Learning started Atlantic after her two sons became very ill with Lyme disease in 2016. After searching for a safe tick repellent for her active outdoor family, she realized she would have to invent her own. Ticks are resilient and have been crawling on Earth since at least 100 million years ago. The tick population has been on the rise across North America, and with that comes more cases of Lyme disease. Atlantic Repellent Products is a company that focuses on providing natural solutions for people in the fight against tick bites. A few years ago, both my boys got Lyme disease. Uh, at the time, we didn't know what was wrong. They had swollen knees and ankles, and uh, after a few trips to the doctor and a few months later, we discovered it was Lyme disease. So not knowing anything about Lyme disease, you know, and doing the research and realizing how debilitating it can be, and was for a certain period of time with my oldest son, because he couldn't walk for a short period of time. Um, after we figured that out and, and got him on antibiotics, I thought, how am I possibly going to send my kids out? I wanted to find a natural solution because I didn't want to put DEET on them, but I couldn't find anything that had the scientific uh, literature and research to back it up and for me that's important because when you can see how debilitating it can be how life-changing it can be uh, you realize how important it is to have something on them that's really that you feel comfortable is going to work partnering with Acadia University research scientist and associate professor Dr. Nicoletta Ferroni Atlantic is testing the efficacy of their products and formulations the research data from these trials is part of the requirements for registration of the products with Health Canada. In the lab, a paper disc is covered in petroleum jelly and placed upside down in a dish that is also coated in petroleum jelly. This will keep the ticks from escaping the area. Then a disc of paper is treated with the tick spray and then inserted into the testing dish. The small disc in the center is not treated. Five tiny ticks in the nymph stage are transferred to the center disc. This will test if the repellent spray will keep the ticks from moving across the treated area. Over a period of hours, the location of each tick is recorded to determine how long acting the repellent is. I paired up with Dr. Nicoletta Ferrone at Acadia University, who also, not only is she a scientist, but just happened to have a background in essential oils as well in essential oils in relation to ticks and, and insects. So we paired up, we studied the spray, we found out how effective it was. Then we decided, okay, let's register this with Health Canada so that we can say with confidence, this is a natural spray, it's an alternative to DEET, and it works just as well. So we're still in the process of doing that. Um, it, it's a very long process. In the meantime, we have other projects going on. We've got about five years of studies set up and ongoing. We want to be that company that can offer them that protection and, and that comfort. Our purpose for starting this whole company is to be able to come up with some scientifically backed products proven to work in and outside of the lab and uh, so that people can buy something that they know will work. For human trials, the surface of the skin is washed in preparation and a glove is taped in place over the hand. The tick repellent is sprayed near the glove line. This is the treated area of the skin. Then the glove is removed. A live tick is placed on the treated area and it immediately retreats to the non-treated area. Dr. Ferroni gently places the tick on the treated area repeatedly and it consistently retreats to the untreated area of skin. The test is repeated with a larger tick with the same excellent result. To make their signature tick spray, the production process begins at the warehouse. Pure essential oils and other ingredients are brought in from Canadian suppliers. Four key ingredients are used to create the spray, and this mixture is held in barrels on the bottling line. Bottles are loaded on the line by hand. These are 60 mil bottles sourced in Nova Scotia. Each station along the conveyor line is started up. 
the bottles sit on a circular tray that feeds them onto the conveyor. As the bottles move down the line, they're filled, two at a time, by a hydraulic pump system called the filler. An optical laser lines up two bottles at a time. They have to be perfectly aligned or the filler won't activate. The Program Logic Control, or PLC, controls the bottling line. A spray nozzle is secured on top of each bottle by hand. The bottles then move through the labeler. The labels are fed from a large roll on a spindle and through a series of rollers that control both the tension and the alignment. The self-adhesive labels are rolled and pressed onto each bottle. The finished bottles accumulate on a turning table at the end of the line, where they're packaged for storage and shipping. Tick kits are a popular item, especially with hikers. They're assembled in the warehouse. Each tick kit is assembled by hand and contains a bandage, tweezers, a magnifying glass, a small bottle of spray with a pump, a sticky tick roller to check clothing for possible ticks, a collection vial, tick ID card, a tick remover, and a pair of gloves. Atlantic products include various sizes of tick removal kits and lava bead ticklets. To use the ticklets, they are covered in spray and then worn around the neck, wrist, or ankles. And of course, for pets, a lava band can be worn on their collar and the effects last for days. Atlantic customers vary from power crews who work in the woods to families who spend time outdoors to pet protection. Atlantic promotes tick safety as they believe it's much easier to be tick safe than it is to treat Lyme disease. Atlantic products are from their online stores and in stores all across Canada. Exporting for us is really important, not only outside of our province, but also tapping into the U.S. Uh, ticks are a worldwide problem. So there's a lot of opportunity out there to get our spray out there and to get our products out there for loads of people in the world. NSBI has been a great, uh, great for us in that whenever we have an issue or anything comes up, we can always reach out to them. If they don't know the answer, they connect us with somebody else who, who, who does. Uh, they've been good for helping us research the U.S. market and uh, they're just a really great support team to have on hand.